As some of you may have seen before, uh, a previous video on my channel, uh, actually my, the most popular video on my channel, we went on a £9.50 summer holiday to Pontins, Brian Sands, and it was, well, an experience. So, we booked another one because we couldn't think it could be that bad again. So we booked in for what we thought was a nice cheap caravan holiday away to Norfolk and counted down the days till we went. Imagine our surprise when the confirmation email came through and said, just as before, we have been booked into another chalet. Uh, this is a review of Summerfield's Park Dean Holiday Park in Scrapby, Norfolk and our new chalet. I hope you enjoy. Well, howdy peeps. Once again, another £9.50 sun holiday. Uh, this time to Norfolk again, where we went last time, but a different part of Norfolk, so we're heading there, aren't we, babe? We are. Uh, we are once again on the delights of the A47 with some Muppets that can't drive in front of us, doing about 20 miles an hour below the speed limit, but if you know the A47, you know it's also very difficult to pass, so we're going to head to uh, it's a Park Dean Resort that's stopping in this time, isn't it? It is. Uh, near Scrapby, uh, just north of Great Yarmouth. However, we received a confirmation email the other day saying, we are not in a caravan this time. We are once again in a stalag. So hopefully it won't be as bad as the Pontins one, but we'll find out when we get there, won't we? Like? We will. Uh, it should be interesting if it's not at all. We've also got an evening trip out to uh, Mundsley trip uh, planned as well with some friends that are stopping there. So I'll hopefully get some video footage of that as well. And some wait. of that might not be shareable. No, that's fine. I, I can edit it. It's fine. I have editing software. It's no problem. Um, we also have. Uh, a trip planned to a American smokehouse for some ribby type things and some brisket, so that should be nice as well. But until then, I have fun with the usual a travel fun montage. The new Stalag at Summerfields Park Dean Resort here in Scrappy. I think it's the closest village to Scrappy. And what a difference a new location makes because check this place out. We have the front door here, of course, we've just come through. 
And we have stairs. Who would have thought we have stairs? But first of all, living room. We have a dining table, lovely. Two sofas, sofa A, sofa B. We have heating on the walls. We have a TV. I have some reason, an empty waste paper basket. Our view is of more stalags, but that's fine. That's not a problem. You don't come here for the view of the stalags. We have artwork on the walls. Look at that, up there. And we come through here. We have a table for general storage of stuff, namely my vape stuff just there. Um, we have a kitchenette, another bin full of rubbish. And in this kitchenette, we have a full hob and oven and grill. Although it's sparkly clean, you can even see the numbers on the oven for temperature. Marvellous, isn't it? Excuse some of the mess, I just made breakfast, it's fine. Uh, we had bacon, sausage and egg cob, mama. We have a four toaster toaster. We have an extractor fan, which amazingly works as well, which is quite nice. Sink, cupboards, microwave, fridge freezer. We have some curly fries in the freezer because that's what you want. We also have a fridge with essentials, pizza, mushrooms, bacon, sausages, uh, sweet chili sauce, and of course, not forgetting the beer. Oh yeah, and other sundry sauces and things. But we also have a kettle, look, a kettle. This is the amazing thing about this place. It's actually really well furnished, really well stocked. I was amazed when I walked in. Um, I'll show you the bathroom in a second, and I'll show you upstairs as well, which is always nice. But let's go through the drawers first, because we always like to go nosy through the drawers. Uh, in the cutlery drawers, we have teaspoons, nice fork spoons. Look, a bread knife, everything. Scissors, uh, meat things. Next drawer down, we have potato mashers, big spoon, slotted spoon, even got a whisk, a wooden spoon, like a real chef. Third draw down, there's nothing in there. Oh, yep, yep, nope, nope. Cheese grater, bottle opener, vegetable peeler, tin opener. This place is stocked to the heavens. Uh, in here, we had a grill and a tray already in the oven, so we didn't have to buy any more ones like I did last time. The place is amazing. Under here, we have colanders, we have pots and pans and things, and uh, more pans over there. Oh, this place, like a brand new looking kitchen. In here we have an empty cupboard with the essential snacky snacks. But as Jay Sue always says, must have snacks. So we have snacks. But moving on from the brand new well appointed kitchen, oh, that's the view behind me of another stalag you see there. I'm going to have to ch change this to a, something else, not a stalag. But moving swiftly on through the brand new carpeting, uh, the table's seen a few dents and stains and things like that, and there's some of the walls have got a few scuffs and things like that, but there's nothing that's untoward. Here, in here we have uh, a cupboard, clothes dryer, sweeping appliances, an ironing board if you feel like doing some extreme ironing. Probably don't do that, so that's fine. In here we have a brand new bathroom as well. Excuse the steam, we've just both just had showers, so toilet. Works, flush, boom, what more do you want? Bog roll, tooths and washing apparel, uh, window which is frosted, so they might be able to see what you're doing. We also have a blind as well, which is quite nice. So no one has to watch us have a shower. An actual shower unit, look at that. I mean, it's not exactly a powerful shower, but it does the job, it says on the tin. Ooh. Oh, come on, ISO, there we go. Um, so, yeah, we're downstairs. I mean, downstairs bathrooms are paying a bum, but especially in the middle of the night when you need to pee, you have to walk all downstairs. However, it's nice to have an actual nice brand new bathroom. The whole place seems to have some money spent on it, which Pontins, Brian Sands could learn a lot from. Spend some money on your Stalex. And here we ascend the mighty staircase up to the second level in the Stalag, which I'm pretty sure you don't get in a Stalag, but never mind. Uh, one of three doors, door here, door here, and the main bedroom here. Here we have, look, brand new wardrobes, chests of drawers with dirty underwear in, so I'll show you that. Uh, the view outside again, they have blinds down here as well. A double bed with pretty close approximation to a mattress. It's pretty hard, but it, it's, I've had worse, so it's fine. 
a bedside cabinet, a light, we have more artwork, look at that lovely artwork there. And then we have, going back through here, a second bedroom, another double bedroom. Look at this, I put the light on because the blind doesn't work in here. But another double bed, more heating, another wardrobe, I've not checked inside here yet, but we have some katangas. We also have more chests of drawers in here. Look at this, Woo. And going through to the third room, we have a twin bedroom as well, look at this. So I think it's designed actually for sleep six people. Oh, more artwork, ooh. Uh, ooh, I didn't even see this one. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> but yes, we have a chest of drawers. This is obviously for a twin, so people can share. But what more do you want from life? So I'm guessing this place is designed for sleeping of six people because there's six cups, six saucers, six plates, blah, 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 blah. And also two double beds and two single beds, which would make sense. So it's massive. And it was £9.50 each. £9.50 each. And compare this to the previous Pontins, Brie and Sands video, which you haven't seen, go and check it out. You'll see what I mean. But today we were planning on going up to see some friends at Munsley. However, they've had a family emergency, so they've had to shoot back. So that's the end of that. We're going to have to reschedule that for another time, maybe. But uh, so today the plans have changed. We're going to head on out to Great Yarmouth and probably play some crazy golf again because the missus is not happy that I am leading the scoring on crazy golf. But, you know, why wouldn't she be? And until then, then, so we're going to head out. We've had some breakfast. Head out and I'll uh, film some stuff there. Hopefully, maybe some, get some to eat, that sort of thing as well. So stay tuned. land behind me can have a can of pop and try and find the Avenger goal hopefully it's open because while well, it's closed hmm. so it begins the rematch of the rematch <laughs> will Stacy endeavor to draw evil with me or will I kick her ass at Pirate's Cove I don't know we're gonna find out though should be funny you soon tell by the fact she might be grumpy or not we'll see So it's official, somebody beat me. <laughs> beat me by two points. Two, oh, two strokes. It's golf, isn't it? Strokes. Beat me by two strokes at golf, and she's not stopped giggling since. <laughs> so I went and took her to Subway as a congratulation meal. What did you have, babe? Uh, buffalo chicken. Buffalo chicken. When'd you come out tonight? My hair's a mess because it's been a bit of wind swept out there. I have to do that. But we're off out tonight to the smokehouse because obviously we had plans to be elsewhere, but that's changed. So going to the smokehouse, we're going to have some ribs and some boeuf and many, many other things that are really bad for us, but probably taste quite nice. So I'll try and get some sneaky videos in there whilst I'm in there. Um, whether I can talk in there is another thing as well because lots of people don't like it when you film anywhere near them so it's kind of hard to do it but 
that's the plan for this evening. Until then, though, we're going to have a cup of tea, watch Tipping Point, and then watch the chase. the chase, because that's what we do, and then uh, get ready to go out. So I'll see you then. And then tomorrow is another day. What are we doing tomorrow, right? Oh. We're going to Potter Going to Potter for fish and, fish and chips. chips, yes. Okay. This seems to be like a very foody sort of vlog for some reason, but yes, fish and chips, and you want some cake. Yes. And maybe a drive around some of the, um, uh, what have you got, broads. There's a little marina. Do you want to go to a little marina? Because apparently this marina has boats with it. All right. <laughs> Unlike most other marinas where there are no boats. So, uh, yes, so Smokehouse is coming up soon. There's also water I can push you in. There's water as well, yes. Marina with water and boats. That I can push you in. <laughs> so, <laughs> see you later in a bit for the Smokehouse. But until then, I'm going to watch Tipping Point and I'll see you in a bit. Morning campers! Heidi, hi! Heidi, hi! Yeah, someone remembers it. Um, well, I didn't do much filming last night after we came back from the smokehouse because, well, basically I couldn't move. We tried to eat 15 kilos of pork each, I think. Oof, it was a ridiculous amount of food, but it was very nice. Uh, expensive, but nice. So today we are off in the blustery weather to sunny Potterheim, hopefully this will still be out, to have a walk around there and look at the weird shops and maybe get a uh, sandwich we've we've got off the idea of fish and chips after all the, all the fucking meat we ate yesterday um so we're going to go potter high and then probably drive around to try and find that marina you wanted to see uh, so hopefully it should be a nice chill day with maybe a sandwich as opposed to fish and chips because i don't think my stomach could take it so have fun Oh, that was a lovely little trip around Latham's of Potter High and Bay. You bought two, three books for a fiver. And I nearly bought a very padded Chet Lumberjack shirt. But I don't have any wood to chop or any lumbers to jack. So, we're going to go look at some souvenirs, look at some boats, maybe grab a cup of coffee before we go and get a cup, something to eat, yeah? I'm going to get lunch. It's five past twelve. Did you tell David? intense music. This is what happens when the missus says, let's go the country route. Uh, but there was a white line at one point, but now we are literally on, I think it's probably a far track. But we'll keep going. We're bound to find something eventually, aren't we? But it's a B road. It's a B road. This is what happens in the UK when you go off an A road, basically. So a 
rather wet end to the day. Just run back to the car with kick because it was peeing down with rain, didn't we, babe? Yeah. Uh, we've been for a little joy ride all afternoon around the broads. We went to Potterheim, had that ridiculously large baguette that I wasn't expecting to be that big and a load of roast potatoes. And then, there you go, ham, ham and cheese. Ham and cheese baguette, which was very nice. And we drove from there to Hemhornsey. Horning. Horning. Uh, to have a walk around the marina, you've just seen that as well with the ducks and things and the boats and the oldie worldy buildings. Uh, and then we had a drive back to, well, Ackle, we drive to Ackle, I don't know how it's pronounced. A C L E? Yeah. Drove to there, couldn't find anything, went around there a couple of times, still couldn't find anything. So then drove back the country way, which you've also seen, which was interesting, and stopped off at Hemsby. Yeah. To go on some of the arcades, didn't win anything, so I didn't fill it because I'm, I'm gutted that I didn't win a tail to go with my shadow from last time. And what were you after, Stace? Groot. She was after a Groot and also a woolly cow. Each their own. So now we're going to dry out. Uh, we got the, the monkey's coffee in the wall. Oh, yeah, we went to a brand new cafe that was built on, being built on a brand new like caravan chalet type side. Yeah, the coffee was awful. Awful. Stace didn't even finish it. And I had to have sugar in mine, which I don't do in my coffee or my tea. It was that bad. So, yeah, a bit gutted about that as well. Um, I'm looking out of the window and I can see rain. You might still hear it on the footage. I'm not sure. Uh, so I'm going to stop, dry out, have some, what do we get? Coffee and walnut cake from Potterheim from the shop cafe thing we stopped at. Takeaway cake. It was very nice. Uh, and so we're going to have that and possibly a couple of beers and maybe go to the amusements on the site, depending on whether... On the weather, basically. <laughs> but we'll probably have a beer too, because we didn't have any beers last night whatsoever. Uh, so we've still got a fridge full of uh, Budweiser as well. So we've got some Bud to go through, and possibly I might have a cause down at the clubhouse. We'll see. Um, if you do, since we've seen some more of it, then we decided to go out and have recorded it. If not, I'll see you in the morning. at the arcade on the 2P machines and no Sonic the Hedgehog or German Daxon dog stuffed toys anywhere. So time for a few beers and some dinner. Well morning campers it's our last day last full day here in sunny Norfolk and the sun is actually out again which is nice. Uh, today we are heading up to uh, Munsley. We said we were going to Munsley before but uh, I thought we could check up there anyway and have a look around because we've never actually stopped in Bunsley before so we'll have a bit of bunches around there. Uh, we're just on the 149 heading up a very straight road with lots of nasty, nasty average speed cameras looking at it. But as we only poo anyway, it's fine. Um, possibly fish and chips if we find somewhere, who knows? We might, might change our minds, I don't know. Uh, possibly another mini golf, you never know. We're going to have a look around, see what we can see and come back through the country way. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for today. We'll have a look around and hopefully I can record some footage while we're there. Be nice. Uh, but until then, enjoy the usual road trip.
after a cruise around Munsley, um, there was really not much there. <laughs> really. It's a couple of shops, a couple of pubs, none of which are open yet. So we decided to head on back to the usual favourite, Cromer, which is two miles that away. So we're going to go and see if we can get ice cream on the cliffs. Be done. It had to be done. Well, <coughs> she insisted on coming back to the same hole again because she seems to think this is my course. And she wants to beat me on my own course. So here we go to break the stalemate. Two games each. Uh, this will be the decider because I don't think we'll get any more crazy golfing before the snow sets in because it's freezing here for you. Anyway, uh, crap sticks, crazy golf, here we go. Well, engage. Smug mode. Because somebody, cheated. somebody who uh, posted all over social media I that she finally beat me. We had a little tot up in the crab pot, didn't we? Whilst having a lovely crab sandwich and you had a ham and cheese panini which looked very nice uh, I beat it by one technically we drew it's just um, you're only allowed a maximum of six shots per hole and it took you seven <laughs> so if we called it the real seven <laughs> it'd have been a draw didn't beat me though did you I should have done <laughs> you should have done I played like a complete numpty but never mind so uh, we had another tour around Chroma as usual with the ice cream and things like that if you want to see a tour around Chroma I've already done a video on that so go and check it out on the channel um, but now we're heading back Slowly to North Walsham, yep. and then I cut across to the, uh, as I pronounce it, Happysburg. What was it actually called? Haysborough. Haysborough Lighthouse. It's spelled Happysburg. Happysburg's fine. So we'll have a little sim game, a little footage of that, and then we're going to head back. And I don't know, might have a sample of beer or two. Who knows? <laughs> just got back to the accommodation uh, we had a very extensive strange and uh, off-road experiences um, I didn't feel it all because some of them I really couldn't film because the roads were literally that bumpy but we went to um, Haysboro to the lighthouse got a little snap snap of that and then we carried on down the coast road and then we ended up other places as well but we did manage to get some sweets because for some reason I've had a hankering for Firm bananas for a long time, and you can't get them anywhere near us. I had to drive three hours to get some firm bananas, but there you go. And we also went down the stupidest road in the world. And for once, I was navigating somewhere and went, Oh, we've been down here before. No, we haven't. No human has been down that road before. There was cars parked either <laughs> side. There was cars by the other side. However, there was no suspension left <laughs> by the it, side. It had bigger craters than the moon. <laughs> But fortunately, we did find the road we had been down before, just had sand in the middle of it, so it was fine. So we had a nice leisurely drive back, didn't we? You might have had a nice leisurely drive back. I might have had a nice leisurely drive back. So this evening's plans are cook a pizza. We didn't have uh, fish and chips, sorry, right, did we? No. I did have a nice crab sandwich. Um, you had, oh, we've done this bit, haven't we? You did. I've already done this bit, you already know about this, it's fine. So tonight, a couple of beers, bung a pizza in the oven. 
watch some TV, chill. And then get ready for the manic pack up tomorrow and head back to sunny Leicestershire. Possibly a trip to the arcade, we'll find out. Well, there we have it. We're back on the A47, heading back to sunny Leicestershire with the blue skies and the rain clouds behind us. What do you think of Summerfields, babe? It's fine, but I need to. Oh, okay. Right. Um, so, yes, Summerfields holiday village parky campy thing. It was. It was alright. It was uh, basic. There was no shop on site or anything like that, but there was a shop just down the road. And. It was fine. I wasn't expecting a two-story stalag. It was quite nice, and it made it a lot better than the previous stalag. So, hope you enjoyed watching this uh, trip, and obviously we'll have the usual um, montage at the end. But if you did, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. Uh, you can also sub to the channel. That would be great if you can help me keep doing this. Uh, you can also check out my social media, which is of course always scrolling at the bottom of the screen. Uh, until next time, though, uh, stay safe and much love. Well, a brief stop at the A47 petrol station because we're running out of go-go juice. Uh, one pound sixty-seven point nine. I thought this special come down a bit, but never mind. Uh, needs must, as always. Uh, we might nip across the way for a cup of coffee and a pee at Mackey D's, and then carry on the journey. <laughs>